Hello, pipe smokers. David Russell Mosley, the enchanted pipe smoker here. Oh, it's a cool but sunny day here in New England. Uh, today I am smoking... Uh, what am I smoking? It's a new tobacco. Oh, I just got it the other day. Here we go. Gowith and Hogarth Cherry Vanilla. And I have to say, I'm, I'm rather enjoying it. I haven't done a, uh, an aromatic in a while. And so, I'm rather enjoying this, although I'm not getting a lot of flavor on it. Um, but the ruminant note, uh, at least outside, is subtle, uh, and yet I definitely get the hints of both cherry and vanilla uh, in it. So that's nice. The reason I'm making this video today is uh, in part because I haven't made one in a while. And so I can't actually remember if I let you all in on some news which is the fact that I have published a book. Actually, I have another one coming out. It's my uh, PhD dissertation. But while I was doing my PhD, I wrote a novel called On the Edges of Elfland, a uh, fairy tale for grown-ups. And it's for sale. It really exists. A publisher, you know, got some information from me and thought, hey, that could be a book worth publishing. So, um, feel free, you know, to, <laughs> to get a copy. I'll put a link, uh, down to it, uh, in the box below. Um, it's available through Amazon. It's available through the publisher. Um, you can even potentially order a copy through me. Just private message me. Uh, the upside to ordering a copy through me is that, um, well, the advantage is pretty much all mine, that I get a bit higher um, the, the, the cost is a bit cheaper for you, depending on where you live, and the, um, I get, I get a higher percent of the book, because uh, I don't get very much per book. I didn't write this to become a millionaire or anything, but, you know, making a little money would be nice. So anyway, uh, I thought I'd tell you about this. So, like I said, this is a book I wrote in the second year of my PhD. Uh, it is... It's something that I actually started about seven years ago, um, almost eight now, actually, when I was in a class on uh, Lewis and Tolkien in college, and one of our assignments was to do something creative using the themes uh, made famous, made popular by Lewis and Tolkien. So things dealing with fairy or elves or, or uh, the other themes that come up in their work, not just fairy and elves, that's just the route that I went. Um, and so I, we had to write like the first three chapters, I think, and a 10-page outline. I think I had a 50-page outline. Um, and I wrote most of it, didn't like how it ended, and just kind of abandoned it, right? Gave it up for a long time. And then in the second year of my PhD, decided, you know what, I'm going to work on this again. And I rewrote the entire thing. Uh, and now it's out. Uh, so to tell you a little bit what it's about, I'm going to read the description on the back because I think that's... Something that I sat down to write out is probably going to be mo more coherent right now than me just making this up off the top of my head. So Alfred Perkins was an ordinary young man who grew up in the small English village of Carlisle. When he was a boy, his godfather, old Oliver Cunning, used to tell him stories about Elfland, the place where all the fairies, elves, gnomes, goblins, and more lived. Alfred grew up believing in those stories. One day, Mr. Cunning told Alfred they had to stop spending time together. Eventually, Alfred stopped believing. Now Alfred has returned home from university and has made the startling discovery that his godfather had not lied to him, and that now his fate, along with that of the village, was tied to that of Elfland, and it was Alfred's job to save them both. Uh, so essentially, this story follows um, the path of this, you know, 20-something-year-old uh, kid, essentially, young man, uh, as he discovers that things and people he used to believe in and then stopped are real again. Um, I rather like the book. Obviously, I wrote it. Um, but, you know, sometimes you write things and you don't particularly like them in the end. I still like this. I think it's a good little book. It's not the best book ever written. I'll never make that claim. But I think it's a good little book. And I think there are probably a fair few of you out there uh, in the YouTube pipe smoking community who might be interested in it. And so I just wanted to let you know. Um, this isn't really self-promotion. It is a little bit, but this is more sharing news. 
Um, I haven't been able to keep up with you guys as much as I've, I've wanted to over the years. Um, but I've always enjoyed the interactions that I've had with you other uh, YouTube pipe smokers. And so I just wanted to do this little plug for my book, let you all know, hey, something kind of fun happened for me. Uh, a couple of months ago. It's been out since September, and this is just the first opportunity. Really, this is one of the first opportunities I've had to sit outside and have a pipe. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, if you go to my uh, Facebook page, which I'll put a, a link for below, uh, you'll see eventually, once I can get a little bit more uh, Wi-Fi signal, that I'm going to be doing a giveaway with the book through YouTube. I'm going to be giving away one copy uh, through not through YouTube through Goodreads.com, uh, and I'll post the link for that. Um, and I'm going to do some live readings from the book uh, during the course of the giveaway uh, as people sign up for it and stuff, just to keep you all interested. Um, and so anyway, I just wanted to let you know uh, I've got this book out. I think it's a good little book. Um, you've heard what it's about. You can find. Uh, some extracts online, and like I said, uh, so the giveaway is going to start on November 14th, uh, and I'm going to try and schedule a live event uh, during that, and, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, but anyway, I hope you all are having a, a wonderful day. Uh, I hope you're getting a chance to, to sit and smoke. Um, I hope you're enjoying this uh, time before Advent, uh, the last vestiges of ordinary time before we start a new church year, for those of you who, who adhere to the church year. Uh, and otherwise, I hope you all have a, a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, I'll probably be in touch before then, but I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, and I guess I'll talk to you all later. So, uh, farewell, my friends. Live in blessedness. And when you sit in peace with your pipes, think of me.